Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into one of the previous year frequently asked question from natural language processing. So this is the question. The question says that we need to consider the following corpus. Corpus is basically a collection of sentences that are included in our training data set. So here you can see we are given with three sentences. We have to list all the possible bigrams. Then we have to compute the conditional probabilities of all the bigrams. And then we have to predict the next word for the word two. So basically, this is the given testing data. That is the word two is given. We have to predict what will be the next word for it by simply training this particular three sentences. Now, first we will have to calculate the bigrams. Here you can see we are given with three sentences. Now, when it comes to bigrams, bigrams, the word itself tells that we have to form pair of two words. So here, sentence by sentence, we need two parts and we have to form pair of two words. So in this first sentence, you can see this particular tag, S tag, that is the start of the sentence. And here, with the start of the sentence, we have the word I. So first bigram will be this S tag and then I. So you can see. This is how we create it. It's like a tuple. First is the S tag and next is the I word. Similarly, then we have to move forward. Now, just remember whenever we are creating bigrams, we do not have to skip two positions. We just have to skip one position. That means first this particular tag is done. Then we have to take the pair of I and 10. So that will be the second bigram. Next, we have to shift to one position. Then we have to consider tell you. So tell you is the next bigram. Similarly, we have to go till the end. The last one will be rest and the closing S tag. These are the bigrams of the first sentence. Similarly, we have to do it for the second sentence. The second sentence bigram will be S I. That is the first one. Then we have to move for I would. This is the second bigram. Then the third one will be would like and so on. I hope this thing is clear. Similarly, we have to do it for the third statement also. Now, remember one thing, even if one of the bigram is repeated in the previous one of the sentence, then also you have to write it again. Make sure you do not omit any single pair. So we are done with bigrams now. Once bigrams is done, next we have to find out the conditional probabilities of every pair of word. So for calculating the conditional probabilities, Either you can look for bigram or you can straight away look at the sentences. So over here, you can see the first two words are the S tag and I. So we have to find out the conditional probability in such a way that if the previous word is S tag, then what are the chances that the current word will be I with the with respect to this particular corpus? Let me tell you by taking one more example. Let's say we consider the words and and rest. So over here. Whenever we have to find out the conditional probability with respect to these two words, the word and will be considered as the previous word. So in this case, what is the probability that the word rest will come next whenever the word and is at the previous location of it? So that we have to find out. Now for finding it out, it is very simple. We have to use a simple formula. So over here, you can see whenever we have to find out the conditional probabilities, then we have to remember this formula. Let's say we have to find out the conditional probability of this particular expression. So over here, let's say, so how to read this? What is the probability of A getting occurred when B has already occurred? That means B is the previous word and A is the next word to it. So what is the probability that A will be the next word to this previous word B? So Whenever we have to find it, we have to remember this formula. We have to find out the count of B with A. That means in the entire corpus, wherever B and A are occurring together. Now you have to carefully look at the order. First, B has to be occurred and next to it immediately A has to occur. This order we have to count wherever in the entire corpus, this particular pair of words is figured out. We have to count that. Next, we have to divide the count of this with the count of the word B. So something like this. 
so in the entire corpus how many times this word b has occurred and this is nothing but the conditional probability of this particular pair so i hope it is clear now just a small trick to remember this particular formula whenever a by b is given then in that case you have to reverse it you have to find out the count of b and a together and since b is at the bottom of this particular expression then that is why in the denominator we have to find out the count of b so this is how we have to remember this particular formula and with respect to this particular formula now we have to find out the conditional probabilities of every single bigram so over here you can see the very first s tag and i word note that s tag is the previous word and i is the current word or i would say the next word to this previous word so how you can find out the conditional probability you can write it something like this do you want to check out this attractive funny memes then what are you waiting for these are just a glimpse of the memes that i have created on my instagram page you can find the link to my instagram handle in the description box please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes these are not just memes these memes and reels contains technical information here i try to relate memes with the technological concepts so please do appreciate that by watching all those and if you love it please hit the follow button just look this particular expression so over here you can see s tag was already occurred so it is acting as a previous word and the i is next to it that is why i is acting as the next word so we have to find out the conditional probability of this particular i given that s has already occurred now as per the formula we have to reverse it and we have to find out the count so we have to count wherever this s and i are together occurring in the entire corpus in each statement we have to check that so you can see this pair s tag with the word i is occurring here in the first statement similarly in the second statement you can see the s tag and the word i is occurring so two times it is occurring apart from that in the third statement it is not occurring so the count of this particular pair is 2 so that is why we have written it 2 here now similarly in the denominator we have to find out the count of the bottom word here s tag is the bottom word so that is why we have to find out the count of the s tag so in the entire corpus you can see there are three s tags and therefore the count of the s tag is 3 so 2 by 3 is the conditional probability of this particular scenario now we have to move forward next we have to find out the conditional probability of this i tell so in this particular case how it would be it would be probability of tell given that i has already occurred so something like this probability of tell word given that i word has already occurred so how you can do this you have to find out the count of the reverse that is i will come first and then tell so in the entire expression just look wherever i tell has occurred here i tell has occurred one time and in the other sentences i tell has not occurred any time so that is why the count of this will be 1 now the next is in the denominator you have to write the count of the word that appears in the bottom in the expression so i is the word now we have to find out the count of the word i in the entire corpus so here i has occurred two times apart from this you cannot see i anywhere that is why at the bottom two will come so the conditional probability of this particular scenario is 1 by 2 similarly you have to find out the conditional probability of every single bigram that is possible now, now we are done with computation of all the conditional probabilities that can be a part of corpus now the last part of this particular question is is to predict the next word of the word two so now over here this is very easy because we already have calculated the conditional probabilities of every pair of bigram so in this case the word two has already occurred the word that has already occurred comes at the second position of this particular expression that means here in the entire conditional probabilities that we have calculated we have to look for the expression where the word two is occurring 
in the past. So something like this. Here you can see the word relax is appearing when the word to has already occurred immediately before it. So this is one of the expression. Apart from this, in the entire list of diagrams, you can see this. This is one of the case where to has occurred and after the word to, the word sleep has occurred. So these two are the cases. Now we have to look for the probabilities of these two. Over here you can see I have just extracted these two expressions and over here I also have written the probabilities that it has. Now in this two, you can see that the probability of this particular scenario is higher than the other one. Because the word sleep is coming more number of times whenever the word two has already occurred. Here you can see that in the corpora, after the word two, the word sleep has occurred one time. Here also in the second statement, after the word two, the word sleep has occurred one time. But here the word relax has occurred only one time after the word two. And this is proven by the probabilities that we have calculated. Considering this particular algorithm, after training this particular three statements, and whenever we are testing the next word, given that the word two has occurred, the result will be the word sleep because its probability is higher. So that is why the word sleep will be the next word to the word two. So this is how we have to solve this particular problem. So I hope this thing is clear. We just have written all the diagrams that are possible for all these three statements. Then we have calculated the conditional probabilities. I hope it is clear how to calculate the conditional probabilities. It's just a simple formula and you have to calculate it for all. And then finally, we have predicted what will be the next word to this word too by looking at the probabilities. So I hope the entire problem is clear to you all. If you guys have any single doubt, then you can straight away put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.